All right, let's begin our warm up. We're gonna start with some knee lifts. Hit it, guys. Here's the idea. I want you picking up those knees all the way above the belly button, warming up, getting the heart rate elevated. Give me three, two, and add the hands to it, guys. This is a really good benchmark for you. This shows you how high I want you picking up your knees, getting a good stretch in the lower body, heart rate's coming up. The idea behind a warm up is that we want to get the blood pumping, the heart rate going, warm up the body. Add a rotation now. Little hip twist involved. Getting the obliques warm. A nice stretch as well. Warm ups help prevent injury, so they're really important. Don't cheat me on this. Excellent, looking solid. Couple more. Beautiful, now give me a reach and pull. Let me see, warming up, beautiful. Okay, arm all the way up, big stretch and throwing down. Core is engaged, heart rate's coming up. Breathe, Alan, don't cheat me on the breath. I wanna hear you breathing, reach and pull. Beautiful, Sione, our pro is in the back. Sione leads this thing, I can't believe it. Beautiful job, Liz looking really nice, keep it rolling. Good guys, okay, let's go into shoulder rolls. Really nice, big circles, dynamic stretches. We always wanna start our warm ups with some, some dynamic stretching. This means stretching with movement as opposed to static stretching. Helps elevate heart rate, prevent injury, get you ready for your hardcore workout, and give me shoulders backwards. Ready, take them back right here. Perfect, all the way back, really big circles. Nice, and don't forget to breathe. Oxygenate that blood. Get yourself ready for your workout. And forward circles, all the way forward. Beautiful, big, come on Tara, pick it up. Pick up a little speed. That's my girl, exhale, come on. Breath, I wanna hear you breathing. Few more, last one, and squat with arms. Sink way down and open it up, good. Nice, Liz, all the way down and open it up. Bring the arms with the legs. Oh, Liz, you're still scared of me? Even now, you can see the fear in her face. Are you scared at home? You should be, because I'm warming you up for your last chance workout. And as you know, they're brutal, aren't they, Alan? Yes, they are. Brutal. Good, guys. All right. Now, we're going to go into a rotation. So let's stop, arms together, and start twisting it out. Perfect. Remember, sink the breath. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. A lot of energy. Start picking it up. You should be feeling warm now. Breath is increasing. Oxygenating the body. Getting ready for some real work and add a pivot to it now. And step. Good. Little toe tap. Twist. 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 Excellent. Daniel, my boy, right here in the middle. Leaning into it. Really nice, you guys. We're almost halfway through this warm up. Give me one more right here, and perfect. Take a beat, pause, reset, and let's kick it out. Ready, guys? Up, good. We're planting that back leg, okay? Right here, hands are on the hips, sinking down, exhale, kick, kick. Exhale here, inhale, perfect. Really nice, heart rate's coming up. Give me two more, solid, you guys. And come back to center for me. Hip thrust, let me see it. Beautiful. Now, as silly as you may feel doing these, these are really important because we're warming up the core, we're warming up our hips, and a lot of the exercises and moves that we're going to be doing are engaging the core. They're functional exercises. That means we're using our body to provide resistance. You don't see any equipment here yet, do you? That's because our body is allowing us to get a workout, get some strength toning moves, and get our cardiovascular system flowing. Okay, really good. Add the arms to it now. All the way up and down. I wanna see big movements now. Open it up, real big, big energy. Nice, Alan, excellent. Pretend you're throwing a ball. You've seen the contestants do this on the show with heavy medicine balls. That's exactly what we're doing, engaging the core. Give me one more right here and down. Beautiful, hands back together. Hit me with your rotations again, twist it out. Excellent. Back into the core, twisting through, big smiles. Tara's enjoying herself. <laughs> Tara enjoys working out with me, don't you? I love it. She loves to work out with me. Couple more guys, then we're gonna add the pivot. Here we go, last one, twist and pivot into it. Tap the toe, perfect. You better be working. A warm up means you need to start working. Don't phone this in. I need you to get warmed up, 
Heat up the body and get ready for our last chance workout. We got one more. Perfect, come back to center and get ready. Kick it out, other side. Ready, go. Nice, good power, Amanda. Right here, pop. Oh, ha ha, what's the matter? You messed up. Didn't you messed up, didn't you? Messing up again. That's my girl, good job. Amanda gets very upset when I tell her how good she is at things. She's working on it. Really good, okay, one more, guys. Perfect, and back to center, hip circles. Ready, here we go. Take it around, get that core warmed up. Really nice, we're coming to the end of this thing. You're doing beautiful. I'm not very good at this. Let's make the contestants. This is why I'm the trainer, because <laughs> I have no rhythm, as you may have noticed. <laughs> Few more, don't laugh at me. One more all the way around. Come back to center, okay. Rear lunges, ready and hit it, guys. Back and up, perfect. Back, tap, back, tap. Warming it up, now here's the idea. You're doing a little backwards lunge and back to center. And center, perfect. One more, and center, excellent. Opposite leg, switch it out. And back, tap. Now, we're not alternating legs, we're doing one leg and then the other. This helps you get your body ready to balance, because alternating is a little bit harder. It's gonna be a workout move. We got one more right here. Last one, hit me with one more, and center. Beautiful, guys. This is our last one. Let's do a quick side shift, real quick, last move. Tap it out, ready? Side to side, over, shift, shift, shift. Five more, here we go, five, four, three, sink way down, two, and one. Good, okay, it's time for our workout. Grab your dumbbells, let's get ready for last chance. All right, we're gonna begin our last chance workout. Let's start with jumping jacks, hit it guys, go. All right, here's the idea. We're going to be working strength moves in with cardiovascular intervals, so we're burning fat, toning muscles, and we're accelerating our calorie burn as best as possible, okay? We're getting the best of both, both worlds with this workout. So, we've got 30 second intervals. This is about giving me everything you've got so halfway through your first jumping jack interval. Now, beginners, keep your eyes on Danny and Liz. They're doing a modified version so there's low impact. In five seconds, four, three, two, pick up your weights. Here we go, we've got our basic row starting right now. Hit it, up. Have a look at Tara, okay? She's got a flat back, knees slightly bent, core's engaged, elbows are in by her side and going up to the sky. Squeezing those shoulder blades together, Beautiful, Tara, really nice. You see that there's no real beginner modification on this one. Here's the idea. If you're a beginner, you can go lighter weights. The more advanced on this, heavier weights. Don't forget to breathe. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down, five more seconds. Give me one more right here. Beautiful, weights go back down. Cardio interval number two, variation of jumping jacks, crisscross. Hit it, guys, go, no rest. Excellent, bringing the legs over and across. This works the inner thighs more than a regular jumping jack. We like variations, we like variety in our routine because it keeps the body guessing. Again, beginners, here's your low impact version. Watching Sione, forwards and backwards. Really good range of motion. See how big Sione is here with his movement. Heart rate coming up. Get that heart rate up, I want you working your butt off. This is a last chance workout, you get it? It means we work out hard. Two more, last one right here, get your weights again. Back into rows, strength moves again, this time wide variation. Everybody sink down, deep breath in, and pull it up. Big wide movements. Now, have a look here. We've got elbows coming out wide and up to the sky. Excellent, Daniel. Exhale, inhale down, exhale up. Timing on the breath is key. Time your breath with your movements. Big, strong, powerful movements, full range of motion. Flatten your back. Good girl, chest is up just a little bit. Stick your tailbone out to the, to the, to the sky. 
Yes. No tail button to the sky. To the wall behind you. <laughs> Don't laugh. Belly button pulled in. Two more guys all the way down. Last one right here. All the way up. Good. Set the weights back down. I want to be quick, quick, quick. Excellent. Scissor jumping jacks. Let me see. Third variation. Back and forth. Beautiful. I mean, really, Amanda? I mean, really. Anytime you're ready. Anytime you're ready. Last chance workout. I get no respect. I get no respect. I get no respect. Alan, I have to come back to Alan because thank God I've got somebody who listens to me. Thank you. Beautiful. Come on, heart right up. Work for it. See, they know they don't have a weigh in tomorrow, and this is what happens. Two more. Last one. Beautiful. Back on the weights, please. This year, rear flies. Sink it down, tailbone to the wall behind you, deep breath in, and take it up and out. Beautiful. Nice. Now, the variation on a fly is a little bit different. Okay, we're working rear delts. We're working Terry's on the outside. Lats, you guys see how Sione has that really beautiful wide upper back that makes his waist look narrow? That's because he does these type of exercises for his back, wide movements. We're almost done with that first circuit. Bring that chest up just a little bit. That's my girl right there. Two more, last one, and down. Beautiful. That's the end of circuit one. Set your weights down. Here we go, guys. Jogging in place. Hit it. Cardio interval number one. Knees are up. Now, on this one, we're switching over to chest with cardio. We just did some back. We're moving on to chest. Beautiful. Nice light jog in place. Smooth breathing. Heart rate should be through the roof right now. Here's the beginner version. Try not to look as silly as Danny does when he's doing this. And I really would like it if you would push. This is a last chance workout. Ready, guys? We got two more seconds and stop. Beautiful. Now, to the ground. Basic push-ups. Hit it. Down, 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 down. Tara, get on your feet. Go. Come on. Tara knows better. Beginners. Liz, drop your bummy, please. Get that bummy down. I know you like to show it off. Beginners, if you need to, you can come down on your knees. This will help lessen the resistance. We're working chest, we're working core. Inhale down, exhale press. Inhale down, exhale press. Let's have a look at Tar. She's got her elbows right over her wrists, totally straight, neutral spine, core is engaged, almost there. Last one right here, and up. Beautiful, stand it back up, fast, 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 fast. High knees, hit it. Here we go. Now, let's have a look at Sione. He's got his pelvis tilted forward, okay? He's picking those knees way up. He's got his arms moving, heart rate coming up through the sky. Go, 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 go. Almost there. Almost there, almost there. Stay with me. 10 seconds. Remember, these are timed intervals. Stay with us. Stay in it. Five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. Back to the ground, staggered push ups. I like variations on basic moves. These are oldies but goodies. Hit it, you're not resting. Right down into it. Come on, I can talk, you can work. Let's go, you know the drill. Switching the hands. I mean, Amanda, get on your feet. Good Lord. And staggering the hands, here's the idea. One hand forward, one hand back, and switching out, okay? Stay in motion. If you need to go into a plank, you can. Or you can go to your knees, but I really want you to push. Last one, back up into our cardio interval. Excellent, we're going into butt kicks now. Hit it guys, heels all the way up. Come on, pick them up. I want you to really kick yourself in the butt, literally and figuratively here. Now, beginners, you don't have to get so much jump into it, you can just tap, 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 tap. You don't have to get as much height. That looks really solid, guys, we're halfway there. And we're almost done with our second circuit. Beautiful, breathe, breathe. Focus on the breath, because the next one is going to suck. Five more seconds, F don't laugh. Four, three, two, hit the ground. Up and down planks. You've seen them do this on the show. It is by far one of the hardest upper body moves. I love this move because it's core, it's triceps, it's shoulders, it's chest. Now watch me get right up in Tara's face. 
How's that feel? <laughs> yeah, you're here. Keep going. Watch this, guys. T, lift a leg up. Good. Keep going. Sione, lift your leg up. Keep going. This is almost the end of your second circuit. In five, four, three. How you like me now? Don't Two like <laughs> and one. Get up. Quick, 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 quick. Circuit number three, cardio interval, tapping side kicks. Ready, hit it, go. Take it out, nice. It's a tap to the outside and a big kick, pushing out that heel. Come on, right here. Hello, a little focus, a little focus. Get some height, get that heart rate up. Using the body, really good job, guys. You're doing beautiful. We're halfway through this one, beginners. Little tap, not quite so high up, okay? Core is engaged, stabilizing, balancing the body. Really good, almost there in three, two, and one. Alternating lunges, and wait, 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 wait. See how they try to get out of everything. I have to constantly, constantly stay on them. Alternating lunges, hit it, good. Beautiful. Now, I want you to have your weights for your strength moves. If you're not ready, you can go with body weight. If you're a beginner and you're not ready to add that extra weight, but I want you to push. The whole concept behind last chance workout is having no regrets, okay? Leaving it all on the gym floor. Blood, sweat, and tears. Isn't that right, guys? Right. I think you've all done that in here. Bled a little, cried a little, huh, Amanda? Cried a lot. Cried a lot. Good, guys. 10 seconds. Stay with it. Sink way down. I want you to get that knee about an inch from the ground. Watch. Down, together. Down, together. And last one. Good. Weights go back down for me. Tap to kick. Other side. And hit it. Knock it out. Perfect. Switching over. Now, see, beginners, Liz not coming quite so high up with her move. Arms are in tight. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Cardio intervals, why do we do them? They burn lots of calories, isn't that right, guys? You may have heard the term high intensity interval training. HIT, that's what we're doing right now. We're incorporating some of the most advanced exercise techniques into your workout because that's what Last Chance is all about. One more right here, knock it out. Beautiful, get your weights. Back to weight training. Step out squats, arms come up, weights on the shoulders, and hit it. And back to center, good. Now we're alternating sides, squatting down, and back to center, perfect. Watching, see how low they're dropping, guys? They're bringing their tush parallel to the ground. I want you to sink down, deep breath in, get your bummy down. I don't want your knees over the toes, okay? We've got that tush all the way back. Now, beginners, you don't have to get as low. Five more seconds, stay with me. Look how low Sione's getting, that's perfect form. All the way down, hit me with one more. Perfect, drop the weights. Alternating front kicks, come back to center. Let's go hands on the hips for me. And knock it out, switching sides, beautiful. I want you to pick up the knees, exhale on the kick. Pick it way up and really extend the leg. You're stabilizing your body with the leg that's on the floor. We're working balance, core, explosive, dynamic movements. We're forcing our upper and lower body to synergize. This is functional training. This is the way we work in real life. We're not isolating muscles on machines. This is a last chance workout. Four, three, two, Perfect, get the weights again. We're going right into deadlifts now. Everyone read, wait, Daniel, wait. Three, two, and hit it, take it down. Form on this is really important, all right? Let's have a look at Sione. He's got a very slight bend in the knees. His back is totally flat. When you get a really full stretch to the point where you feel like you can't go any farther, if your back rounds, Stop. I don't ever want to see your back rounding out. Pull the belly button into your spine. Inhaling down, exhaling up, squeezing the tush. We're halfway there. Deadlifts are great because they work the lower back 
and they help tighten up that problem area where your glute hits your hamstrings. See how I am molesting uh, Amanda? <laughs> That's because these contestants belong to me. Isn't that right? And if you're not careful, I'm gonna come through that camera and do the same thing to you. One more, all the way down, all the way up. Beautiful, set it down. We're moving on to circuit number four. Cross punches, ready? Bust it out. Okay, this is a real dynamic movement. We got a little toe tap, okay? We're punching through and across. Extend your arms before I beat you senseless. Extend your arms. You better start working on those punches, girl. You're gonna have to fight back one day. Come on, push it through. Move it. I'll see you after class. I will see you after class. Stay with it, come on. Push, push, push. We got five seconds. Harder, Daniel. Three, two, and one. Good, get your weights again. Now we're going into basic bicep curls with a variation. I want you to lift your leg up. Let me see it. Perfect, and curl it out. Beginners, we got one foot, toe, touching the ground. When you're, if you're not ready to balance on one leg, why am I doing this? Because we're working more muscles at the same time by forcing our body to stabilize on one leg. The more muscles we work, the more calories we burn. The more calories we burn, the more pounds we lose. Beautiful, we're almost there, we got five more seconds. Have a look at the form. Elbows are back behind our rib cage, curling three quarters of the way up. Give me one more. Perfect, set them down. Hooks, ready guys? Hit it, take it across. Now you see me do a lot of boxing on the show. Why, because it burns calories. And these types of cardio intervals are fantastic for anybody with a lower body injury because you're getting your heart rate up using your upper body. So there's no impact with these, but you're really going to feel the burn. I can't believe I just said that. I'm entitled, I'm entitled, man. I've earned my stripes. I can say feel the burn if I want to. Whatever, feel the burn, huh? You better be feeling the burn. Breathe, let's go. Five more seconds, push. I wanna see higher energy. One more across, excellent. Grab the weights, hammer curls, balancing on the opposite leg. Leg up, biceps, let's see it. I, it's killing me to have you do this beginner. You know it's killing me. It's killing me. It's killing me. Pick up your knee. I want you to really work for it. This is a variation of a bicep curl, okay? The idea being that we're turning the palms in, still keeping the elbows back. If you bring the elbows forward, we're working shoulders. I don't want you to do that right now. We're focusing on isolating the biceps and working on our stability and our balance. Squeezing the biceps. Five more seconds. Hang on, all the way down. Always giving me grief with the full range of motion, aren't you? Always giving me grief with that. All the way down, all the way up, last one. Set them down, quick, quick, quick. Uppercuts, ready? Get ready to punch it out in three, two, one, go. Good, again, upper body cardio. Really push through the core, pop that glute out to the side. Give me full range of motion straight up to the sky. Up, up, drive it through the shoulder through the obliques, give me a little twist, breathe. Way up, Liz. Get in the game, Liz. Get in the game. Huh, look at her, look at her go. Big old smile on her face, that's totally fake. Liz hates my guts. 10 seconds, drive it up. Up, Daniel, up. All of you guys can just imagine that you're punching me, paying me back for all these last chance workouts. In three, two, one, to get your weights. Last strength move in this circuit. Pumping curls, ready, alternating, and hit it. Good, beautiful. Really get it rolling, come on, I want this dynamic. Movement, 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 dynamic, explosive. Pop, 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 pop. Oh, a little bounce in there. What's the matter, Amanda, sweating? Sweating, Amanda, out of breath, huh, huh? You can't talk back to me now because, because it's out of breath. Isn't that right? Stay with it, come on, come on, come on, we're almost there. Almost at the end of circuit three. Go, 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 go. 10, nine, eight, seven, breathing, six, five, four. Pump it, burn it out, Daniel. Atta boy, pick it up, guys. Almost there in five, four, three, two, one. Weights down, circuit number five. Jump rope, right into it, hit it. 
Excellent. Now, we've got three jump rope variations in this circuit. Why do I like variety? Mixes up the routine, keeps the body guessing so that you keep change happening. Transformation. Isn't that right? Halfway there. Breathe. Pick it up. Beginners, keep contact with the ground so it's easier on the knees, the hips, the ankles. Looking really solid, guys. In 10 seconds. Nine. Give a little more height, Sione. Five. Four. Atta boy. Three. Two and one. Grab your weights. Going into triceps. Now we just did biceps. Now it's time for triceps. Kick back. Feet hip width apart. Take it down. Elbows back and bust it out. Beautiful. Let's talk form for a second. I want to make sure that the elbows are above your back. Back is flat and straight. Knees are slightly bent. So she is sticking out. Notice T's head is totally straight. She's looking at the ground in front of her. Focusing on her breath. Good, you guys. Squeeze the back of your arms right here. We're halfway there. I really like tricep kickbacks because they tighten up these problem areas that flap around. That's never any fun. We don't like that, do we? Shake your head now. No, that's no fun. Beautiful. Five more seconds. Squeeze. Come on, pick up your pace there, girl. Impress me. Three, two, and one. Weights down. Next variation is a jump rope with a crisscross. Hit it, guys. Go. Good, bringing it over. Now the crisscross incorporates a little bit of arms into the movement. We don't need to actually have a jump rope to get the benefits of jump roping. Jump roping, why do we like it? Very aerobic, very cardiovascular. And we're working muscles in the lower body with the plyometrics, the jumping movement. Calves working, hips working, arms working. Big, dynamic movement all the way across the body. Focusing on the breath, do not forget to breathe. You need to get the oxygen and the blood for energy. And in three seconds, two seconds, and one second, pick your weights back up. Excellent. Triceps overhead, both weights in your hands. One hand. There we go. And extend. Perfect. Now, if you're more advanced, you can do both weights in one hand like this or just take one weight like these guys are doing for me right here. Keeping the elbows forward, biceps in by your ears. Extend and squeeze. Beautiful, all the way back and down, all the way up. Full range of motion. That means we're going all the way down and all the way up. We work in a full range of motion because better form gets better results. Don't cheat it, don't phone it in. You're the one who bought the last chance workout so you better be prepared to work. Last one right here, all the way down, all the way up. Set it down, beautiful. Jump rope again, one leg. Hit it, guys. What, what, one leg means one leg. One leg, you, you used to listen so well. You used to listen so well. Halfway through this, we're gonna be switching legs. This is not easy. Beginners, you can do the little toe tap over here like we got Liz doing, focusing on the breath. Hurts, doesn't it? Halfway there, switch over. Beautiful, oh, Alan. Alan is my little athlete, isn't that right? Alan, you've been my tiny dancer from day one. That's right. What was it? It was my, my bitch, isn't that what I call you? Jump, Alan, for five, four, three, two, wait, pick them up. Pumping triceps, very much like you're pumping biceps. Sink it down into your kickback position and knock them out. Good, guys. So we're back in our tricep kickback position. But we're alternating arms and we're staying in motion. Like how I just slipped right through there without getting hit. I'm a professional. Don't try this at home, the training the workout part I need for you to do. Huh? Squeeze, 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 push. Good, working on the back of the arms. 10 more seconds. Abs are engaged, back is flat. Pump it, pump it, pump it. Faster, 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 faster. Almost there in three, two, and one. This is your last circuit and it sucks. Down to the ground, mountain climbers. You guys have seen these on the show, they're not cute. Hit it! Big jump switch. Now, I don't like to do isolated abs. You've never seen me do crunches on the show because I work core into every movement that we do, like mountain climbers. 
whole core is engaged right here. Belly button is pulled into the spine, abs are strong. You're halfway there on your last circuit. Don't stop. I know what you're thinking. You're dying. It hurts. Wah, wah, wah. You want to be skinny or not? Shut up and do your mountain climbers. In five, four, three, two, and one. You can get the weight. Lateral raises. I want those big round shoulders that look good in the tank top, guys. Hit it. Take them up and out. Ready? Go. Excellent. Coming just parallel to the ground. Thank you very much. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down, exhale up. Palms are facing the ground. Don't go above the shoulder here. Breathing. Now, the reason it's okay to isolate small muscles the way that we're doing is because we're working big cardiovascular intervals into the workout. So as we're recovering on heart rate, we're still toning muscle. Three more, last two, last one. Perfect, weight back down. Back to the ground, plank position, prone jacks. This is no joke. Here we go, you ready? Jumping jacks on the floor in a plank position. Hit it, feet out, feet in. Explosive movement, beginner, just a toe tap, okay? Still working the core, working the shoulders, working the chest, working the triceps. The more muscle groups we're working, the more calories we are burning. And we're doing it dynamically, explosively. It's called metabolic training. What does metabolic training do? Burns calories. How do we lose fat? We burn calories. Breathe in five, four, three, Two and one. Pick up your weights. Front raises. We did laterals for the side. Now we're working the front of the shoulder. Take it. Go, go, go. Don't look at me. Look at them. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. Good. Beautiful, guys. All the way down, all the way up. Just parallel to the ground. Excellent. We're working right on the front part of that delt. Sculpting the shoulders, bringing definition to the arms, focusing on the breath. This is your recovery. These strength intervals are actually your recovery for heart rate because we're getting ready to bust it out with another cardio interval in three, two, and one. Down. A little more complicated now. These are in outs, okay? We're combining the first two moves. Guys, hit the ground. All right, jump it up and in. And back and out. There we go. Good pace. You're almost there. You're almost at the end of your last chance. Last chance workout is about no regrets. It's about giving it everything you have. And when you think you have nothing left, that's when you give more. Isn't that right, Danny? Isn't that right? Good, you're halfway there. Don't quit on me. You know why? Because quitting on me is quitting on yourself. And that's not what The Biggest Loser is all about. We're almost done. One more move. After this, five seconds, bust it out, Tara. Four, three, two, get your weights. Last move, Arnold Press. Pick them up, pick them up, pick them up, pick them up. Here we go, guys. Ready? Take it up and in. Beautiful, perfect. Now, and all the way out. Excellent job. Notice the difference in hand positions, okay? We've got palms facing forward for shoulders. We don't want to mess up the shoulder. You can go to here. When you get there, you gotta turn the palms facing forward. Last shoulder move. We're combining a little lateral, a little bit of a press going on. These are called Arnold's because Arnold Schwarzenegger is a big advocate of this move. Nice, perfect, almost there. Almost the end of your last chance workout. And I'm pretty impressed. I think my little disciples did a good job, even though they're trying to kill me. <laughs> And they always try to kill me at the end of a last chance workout. Two more moves, come on. This is your last one. Deep breath in, go up one more time. All the way out, bust it out, squeeze all the way down, punch it up and out. And that is your last chance workout. Good job. Okay, it's upper body workout time. We're gonna start with a single arm row. Pivot it over to the side. Get both of your weights in one hand. Beginners, keep your eyes on Liz, all right? Deep breath in, core's engaged. All the way down, all the way up. 
spine is neutral, back is flat. One hand on the opposite leg, pulling all the way up and through the body. Back is a really big muscle group, okay? When we work big muscle groups, we burn lots of calories. That's the idea. Core is engaged, inhaling down, exhaling up. Four more, guys. Last three, two more. Really pull it through, and one. Come back to center for me. Feet are about hip width apart. Arms are 90 degrees. Palms are facing forward. Wide press. Ready? And take it up and down. Up and down. Beautiful. Give me a little pause at the bottom and hold. Press. The reason that we're doing that little beat at the lower part of the movement is because we still have what's called an isometric contraction. Contraction without movement. We're working the muscles. We're never releasing them. If you drop your shoulders all the way, drop the elbows to your side, you'd be releasing the muscle. Only three more reps here, guys. Last two, deep breath in, and one. Keep it moving, roll it over, other side. Weights go in one hand. Deep breath in, core's engaged, all the way down. Inhale, all the way up, exhale. Ripping that elbow all the way up behind you through the ceiling. Flat, neutral spine, belly button tucked in. Head is straight, bracing the body weight on the opposite knee. Beautiful, we're isolating those back muscles, we're toning right now. Looking really solid, we got five more. The way we make this harder is we add more weight. You'll notice Sione has two heavy weights in his hand. Beginners, you could hold one weight, a lighter weight. Last one, up and down. Beautiful, back to center. We're doing a close grip press, okay? Just like the wide one that we already did, but with palms facing in this time, keeping your grip more narrow. Ready, and press it. Hold for one beat at the top for me. Squeeze your abs, tuck your tailbone. Slight bend in the knee. Inhale down, exhale, press, and now stay in motion. You know the form. I don't want to see your back arching, okay? Tailbone tucked under, belly button pulled in. Good, solid foundation. Form is everything when it comes to getting results. I want your core engaged with the breath. Time the breathing with the movement. This helps, this full exhalation helps tone your abs while you're working shoulders at the same time. We've got four more repetitions. Here we go, really push through it. Squeezing those shoulders, feeling the burn. Couldn't help myself. Last one, up and press. Gorgeous, guys, we're down to the ground, hit it. You've probably seen us do this on the show, plank rows or renegade rows. These are advanced. Ladies will have one hand on the ground, okay, and the other hand on the dumbbell. As you see, Sione and Daniel are gonna be on both dumbbells. We're starting on one arm. Hit it, guys, pick it up. Now, if you're a beginner like Liz, you can also be on your knees if you need to be. Get a good wide base with the feet so you're stable. Core is engaged big time in this because it's a plank move with an added row. So now we've got shoulders working, chest working, abs are engaged, focusing on the breath, staying on one side of the body right now. We've got four more, here we go. Inhale down, exhale, pull, almost there. Spine is straight, looking at the ground right in front of you. Last one, good job guys. Set the weights off to the side. Going right into push-ups, chest back, okay? Here we go. And take it down, down and up. Watch this, I said get the bummy down. Atta girl. I love this job. Inhale down, exhale, press. Even though you're a beginner, I want your tush down. When your tush is way up in the air on these, you're not working your core. You need a straight line from the top of your head all the way through the knee. Hand position is elbows right over the wrists. We got three more. Don't even think about not finishing. One more, deep breath in and press. Good. Back into our renegade rows, grab the weights. Switching sides this time, opposite arm. Everybody in position, deep breath in and pull it up. Beautiful, really nice. Okay, let's have a look at Tara for a second. Totally straight spine, eyes are focused on the ground right in front of her, chin's not up or down. Bracing herself on this hand underneath. 
not pivoting the hips. I want them as straight as possible because this makes it harder. Four more repetitions. Last three, last two, and one. Weights out of the way, push-ups right into it. Deep breath in, guys. Position, 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 Tara. And hit it all the way down, all the way up. Now, Sione is staying on his weights, as you can see. This makes it a little bit harder. But the one cool thing about staying on your weights is that it keeps your wrist straight. So if you have flexibility issues in the wrist, you get a slight advantage, even though it's exponentially harder. Isn't that right, Sione? Yes, it is. Now, if you have any kids at home, feel free to have them sit on your back. Sione is so lucky, he has me to help him out. Just one more, and up. Oh, that was so, so good. Up. We've got shifting side to side. Let's get some movement going. Back. Get up, get up. I'm going to need the weights here, people. I'm going to need the weights. Here we go, guys. Ready? Let's rock it out side to side. Start shifting it over. Shift, shift, shift. Good. Now, in a minute, we're going to add the bicep curls as soon as I get the people here <laughs> in line. Are we ready? And bicep curls. Good. Bust it up and up. There we go. Focusing on the breath. Now we got a little bit of aerobics happening here. We got some lower body movement with the arms. Why do we do this? Burn calories. I've said it a million times. The more muscle groups that are working, the more calories you are burning. A little bit of leg, a little bit of arm, a lot of work. Heart rate pumping. Two more reps. Take it over and squeeze. Over and squeeze. Beautiful, guys. Now. We're gonna switch it over into tricep kickbacks. Keep it moving. Here we go, bust it up. Same thing, nothing changes, but we're squeezing the back of the arms and we're shifting from biceps to triceps. What we're doing is supersets. We're moving from one muscle group to another with no rest and we're working opposing muscles back to back to really pump up our upper body. You got four more reps, three more reps, last two, one more. Beautiful. Now we really, really get mean. Hit the ground. <laughs> Hit the ground. We're going into a renegade row. Just like you were doing. I'm sorry, a renegade uh, fly. My bad. Trainers are allowed to make mistakes too. Get in position. <laughs> okay. We're doing a fly. Ready, guys? In position and take it up and out. We're doing one arm at a time. We're not alternating. Focusing on one side. Still in our plank position. You can get a little wider with your feet. Open that up a little bit, Daniel. boy, And sink down. Good. Engage the core. And now take it up. See that? Much better. This way, Daniel's not pivoting the hips all the way around. He's working on his core and his shoulders, focusing on his breath. He's got last two, last one. Set it down. Now. We're going to do dips like bench dips, but on the ground. Okay, guys? Everybody flip over, get in position. Get all the way around. Feet are on the ground. Beautiful. In three, two, one. Push it out. All right, we got a little bit of lower body happening here. We can press through the legs and through the triceps. Bending those shoulders. Nice. The straighter you keep your legs, the harder the move is. With your feet flat on the ground like Liz, we're able to use our lower body to press up as well as our tricep. Bend a little deeper. That's my girl. So pretty. Look at that. She's a pro. Huh? She's a genius. Last five. Last four. Three. Two. One. Back over into plank. Renegade row, opposite side. We got to complete the other arm, okay? Get in your position, grab your weights. Renegade, I keep doing this to you guys. Renegade flies. Renegade flies, are we ready? And hit it. Really nice. Standard plank position. Abs are pulled in nice and strong. Exhaling as the weight is coming up. Beautiful job. Spine is straight. You're almost there. Don't quit on us. Four more. Last three. Two, guys. Hang in there. Come on. Pull it up. One more. Go. Beautiful. Flip over. Last move for you in this circuit. Okay? We're completing 
The fly with the dip right now. Second time, in position. Ready, and bust it up. Now, <laughs> seeing as this is going to be keep it moving, our last move, watch this. <laughs> Thank you. Keep going. By elevating the legs and keeping them straight, you have a very, very advanced version of this. You could do this on a chair or a table. I'm happy to make a house call. I don't know how much you would appreciate it. Five more. Good times, Yone. <laughs> uh -huh. Last three. Two more. Good. One more deep breath. Ah. Get back up. Let's give our people at home a big round of applause, since we all know how hard it is to train with me. Good job, you guys. We're very impressed. Okay, we're gonna begin our lower body workout. Beginners for modification, keep your eyes on Amanda. Starting out with a basic squat. Pick up your weights, pick them up to your shoulders. Ready, and drop it down. Form, very important on squats, okay? We wanna avoid any injury to the lower body, in particular, the knees. Let's have a look. We got the knees staying right over the ankles, tracking over the big toe. Tush is coming back behind you like you're sitting down on a bench, perfectly parallel to the ground. If you can't get down that low, last one, work your way up into it. Now, we're going from the squat to a squat kick. Get your weights back up, no one said drop them. Ready, and dropping it down, and hit me with a front kick. We're alternating legs, okay? We're adding a little bit of dynamic movement into it, a little explosive kick to the ground and up, sinking down. Really nice. Now, looking at Amanda, she's not adding the kick into it because she's doing the beginner version. Heart rate's coming up. Looking really nice, you guys. Stay with it. Four more. Breathe, sink and kick. Alan, get back on your heels. Good, last one right here and up. Plies out to the side. Shake it out for a second. Deep breath in. Widen, get, re get ready to widen your stance. Arms up by your side and step on the diagonal. Take it out. Good, and sink it down. And opposite side, and down. Beautiful, and over. Coming back to center, and switch. Okay, this can be called a plie squat or a sumo squat. It's a little variation on a basic standard squat. Works a little more inner thighs. Still keeping the knees over the ankles, not over the toes. Weight is in the heels, that's much better. Thank you very much. Trish is still coming parallel to the ground. We've got five more. Deep breath in. Toes are facing out, just like a sumo wrestler. Huh, sumo, Sione sumo. Beautiful, guys. Hang on, we're almost there. Excellent. Last one right here. Perfect, come back to center. Now, hands are gonna come down to the side. This is a tough one. It's a pendulum lunge or a floating lunge. I tortured Tara with this on season seven, and now you're gonna watch these guys go through it and take you through the move. Deep breath in, arms are gonna come up to the top, and lunge it out. Take it back and forward. Beautiful, and back and forward. Nice and slow. Step in the middle. Keep yourself a little beat if you need to, and back. Good, having a look at Amanda. Excellent. An inch from the ground, okay? 90 degree angle in the knees. Okay, we're gonna add the balance move in the middle. Ready, guys? And center part, balance, back. This is tough. This is tough, okay? If you're struggling with it, you can leave the balance part out and just keep stepping in the middle of the move. Really nice. Holding on to it, stabilizing in the middle. Almost there, we got four more. Sione is doing it perfectly. That little beat in the middle, we're stabilizing on the opposite leg. Last one right here, and back to center. Okay, take a deep breath, relax for one second. We're going into a combination move, a deadlift with a curtsy or a backwards crossover lunge. Feet are hip width apart, hands are down at your side. Take a deep breath in, drop into your deadlift. Nice, and up guys, and into your curtsy, and back. Perfect, and down, and back. We're staying on one side here, okay? Because we're going to repeat this again with the opposite leg, and back. 
This is tough, not easy. Back is flat, working those glutes. Beautiful, and up, all the way down, squeezing the tush. Backwards crossover lunge. Solid, really, really hammering your tush. The side of that glute staying in motion, all the way down, all the way over. We got one more before we switch. Stay with us and cross it over. Come back to center, take a minute, catch your breath. Hands down at your sides. We're going back to the beginning with the floating lunges. Ready, guys? And hit it. Back and forward. Now, you can take a little step in the middle if you need to before we go to the balancing part. And if you're not ready to do that balancing part, then what I want you to do is you can continue tapping throughout the entire circuit, okay? Deep breath and tap. Leaning back, keep your shoulders over your hips. We ready to add the balance? We're gonna add it right after this one. Take it back and balance, step. Beautiful, balance, step. Shoulders are up, eyes are forward, chest is back, okay? Shoulders over the chest, over the back knee at all times. Don't lean forward, Danny C. No leaning forward. Four more, back, pause, step. Pressing through the heel, up and hold. And step. Last one, guys. One more. Here we go. Step and center it up. Deadlifts. Get ready. Shake it out. Deep breath. Opposite leg. Remember, deadlift into a backward crossover lunge or curtsy. Really working into those glutes. Take it down, up, and curtsy it. Ready? Down, up, backwards, sink. Together. Down, up. Good pace. Backwards, sink. Pick it up a little, T. Down. Up, over, beautiful, there you go. Deep breath in, exhale up, squeeze, backwards, drop, together, good rhythm. Focus on your breathing and your form. Don't race through this. We're gonna do five more. Together, down, nice, really good. Over, four more. The whole idea here is to keep your core engaged, work on your stability, work into those glutes, We've got two more moves, dropping the knees an inch from the ground. Perfect, last one right here. Good, and backwards and down. Now come back to center for me, okay? I wanna go into a static squat. Hands are gonna be right here, 90 degree angle. And sink it down, and little pulses. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Breathe, do not come up, pull your belly button in, core is engaged, 10 seconds. Stay down, stick your tush out behind you in five, four, three, two, and one. Back up, weights at your sides. We're going into chair squats with a front raise. Following me, deep breath in and drop and raise. There we go, working the arms with the legs. You're doing great. Stay with me, perfect job. 10 more, you guys. Stick your tush back, doing a beautiful job, all the way down, all the way up. We got five more, five. Really get low, four. Nice, three, two. Last one, back to center. Okay, this time I want you to take the arms out to the side, open up into a plie stance, sink it down, and calf raises, ready, and up. Down, up, down. Beautiful, stay low. You should be working your whole lower body right now and shoulders should be screaming. Let's really push, let's do 10 more. I wanna see results, what do you think? Guys, you should be nodding yes behind me. Yes, we wanna see, yes, we wanna see results. Last five, four, three, way down, two, one. Now, turn those toes forward. Bring your weights back to your shoulders. Let's do a rotation. Ready? And twist, center, twist, center, twist, center, twist. Beautiful, all the way through your obliques. Legs should be screaming right now. Let's go five more. Pull it through, four, and three, Two, stay with it, burn it out. Come on, focus, this is for you. This is your time, make it count. One more. Back to center, we're really gonna finish this strong, ready? We're gonna squat down with a press, here we go. And 
If you're ready, and everybody here is, but since you're doing beginner, let's add a little jump. Squat down and one, two, three, four. Beautiful, all the way down. Let's finish it strong. A little bit of plyometrics never killed anybody, did it, guys? Push it. Ten more. Nine, eight, seven. Just because you're a beginner doesn't mean you can't press. And five. Thank you. Four, three, two, one. Oh my gosh. Even I'm a little bit tired. Good job. Perfect. Okay, this is the good part. This is the cool down. This is the time when we get to do some nice, easy stretching. You guys ready? Step it back into a lunge. Hands on the front knee. And really get deep into that hip flexor. Straighten out that back leg on the ball of the foot. Let's take the arms all the way up. Stretch through the abs. Focus on your breathing. Drop the arms down to the side and let's get a little torso rotation in here. Hold for a beat. I want you to really twist through your core. Stretch, reach for it. Good, let's take two more deep breaths here. Oh, take it easy, Amanda. One more deep breath. Nice, and bring it back. Bring it back up to center. Opposite leg, let's take it back, okay. Hands on the front knee, ball of the back foot. Lifting that quad up to the sky. Pull through your hip flexor, through your lower abdominals. Then let's go ahead, bring up the arms. Reach back behind you, stretching up to the sky. Palms facing in. And exhale, arms to the side. Deep breath, exhale, and give me a little torso rotation. Really reach through your hips. Now, if you're wobbling, Make sure that your feet are hip width apart, okay? That'll help you stabilize. This is not work, this is the good part. Ah, oh, good. And let's go back up to center, guys. Now, we're gonna stretch through that hip and the hamstring, hands on the hips. I want you to kick your booty out a little bit and come on the heels, straighten out your opposite leg. You should feel that pull all the way into the back of your thigh, through your calf muscle and into your glute, okay? Breathe into it, take a minute and really reach for it, sink it down. Hold these stretches. In a perfect world, you do at least 20 seconds or so. Come back up and just rock right into the other side. Straighten out that leg and just lean into it, right into that glute. You should feel the pull all the way through here and all the way through your hamstring and your calf, back of the leg. And relax and breathe, really easy. Deep breath. This is where you take some time to really revel in your accomplishment, the fact that you got through your last chance workout, catching your breath, bringing focus to your day. Back up to center, let's stretch out the triceps. Palms together, pull the arms behind the head. Good, and really lean back into it. Palms are flat, have a look at me. Reaching back here, see how my hands are together. Chest to the sky, chin up. And let's hold for 10 seconds. You should feel this stretch all the way through the back of your arms. We really worked that area when we were doing our upper body. Arms come down and let's stretch it out. Open up the chest, chin to the sky. Really let those arms go as far back behind you as you can. I want you to feel that all the way through the front of your shoulder into your pectoral muscles. Deep breath, open it up. Heart to the sky something Bob would say. Pops here in spirit. Beautiful, guys. And let's rock into a shoulder stretch. Arm across the body, grab above the elbow, and pull right through your chest. You should feel this all the way through the back of your shoulder and into your upper back, even. Keeping your body forward, eyes to the center, focusing on the breath, arms straight. Grab or hook it. And pull. Doing amazing. One more deep breath. Ah, side out. And let's switch it over. Arm up, above the elbow. Pull across the chest. Nice deep breathing. And when you sigh, when you exhale, I want you to exhale all your stress. Bring a really positive focus to the rest of your day. Take all 
of the energy and the intention that you brought to your last chance workout into every aspect of your life. One more breath. Exhale it out, and this is our last stretch. We're gonna work into our back. Take the hands, lace them forward, plant the feet, tuck your tailbone, and just reach it out, okay? Go ahead and drop your chin down. Pull all the way through. You should feel that stretch. Never would relax, never would relax. Pull that belly button into the spine, all the way through your upper back. I want you to feel that stretch. Release those traps, all the tension in the neck. Thank you, the neck is not invited to the party, you know that. And release, arms back at your sides, chin up, and that was your cool down. Beautiful job, perfect.